Hi friends, it's me Kalpesh. Today I am going to show you how Splash lubrication system works. Basically, lubrication system in vehicle is categorized by dry sump type and the wet sump type. Splash type lubrication system is a kind of wet sump type lubrication system used in most of the vehicles which are equipped with the multi-cylinder four-stroke engines. I would like to emphasize this type of lubrication system is mainly used in multi-cylinder four-stroke engines. This video makes you aware with the construction and how it works. So let's try to understand the splash lubrication system. Before we go to the constructional detail of the lubrication system, first we need to understand the purpose of lubrication. So the first and foremost purpose for the lubrication system is to reduce the friction and wear between the moving parts. We all are aware with the construction of the internal combustion engine and it comprises lots of moving parts especially piston, cylinder, bearings, shafts, connecting rods. These all are the moving parts. So to reduce the friction bit and wear between the moving parts we need to lubricate them and ultimately we try to reduce the loss of energy occurs due to the friction present. The second important purpose to provide the lubrication system is to provide a sealing action. The lubricating oil helps to cool the surfaces by carrying away the heat generated in the engine component. Due to the friction present in between the moving parts, obviously heat is liberated and, and the lubricants used in the lubrication system helps to carry away the heat which is generated by the process. To clean the surfaces by washing away the carbon and the metal particles caused by the wear. By this figure you can understand the construction and the working principle of the splash type lubrication system. In this figure you can observe the internal parts of the multi-cylinder engine. This is the crankshaft which is mounted with the help of main bearings. These are the mounting points for the connecting rod. You can also, you can refer as the connecting rod number one is connected here. You can refer this point as a two. Uh, for reference, you can consider third connecting rod will be connect, will connect here, and the fourth one it will be connect here. So these four are the uh, connecting rod points through which connecting rod is connected with the crankshaft. This you can say a camshaft which operates the valves of the engine. This is the piston. So broader constructional detail of the IC engine uh, I have already explained in my previous video. I would like to request that visit that video for better understanding. Now in the construction of the splash type lubrication system major parts you can observe in these figures are this oil troughs. This oil troughs that means these are the small open channel type container in which we can observe the lubricating oil filled with the help of mechanism. The bottommost portion of the engine it is known as a oil sum. It is known as a oil sum. This oil sum it is filled with the oil continuously during the operation of the engine and that's why this type of lubrication system can be categorized as the wet type, wet sump type lubrication system. Here oil strainer is provided and the oil pump is there. So this oil strainer it will help to restrict the foreign particles like dirt. So it's a simple strainer or you can consider as a filter. This oil pump, it is a low pressure pump which conveys the fuel from sump to the oil troughs. With the help of this oil, low pressure oil pump, this pump will continuously pressurizes the fuel and sends to the this lines and with the help of pump, this oil troughs, they remain continuously in the filled position. At the bottom portion of the connecting rod, at the bottom portion of the connecting rod, you can observe this 
small projected scoop type arrangement. This scoop type arrangement you can consider as a spoon. When this connecting rod pushes this crankshaft and when this crankshaft starts rotating this scoop type arrangement it will be dip into the this oil troughs and it carries the amount of lubricating oil with it and it splashes the lubricating oil onto cylinder wall so uh, this is the whole procedure by which the lubricating oil it will be splashed onto the different different parts of the uh, ic engine moreover this splashed lubricating oil which reaches up to the cylinder wall that can be carried away with the help of the lowermost piston ring which is a part of the lubrication system so this is the uh, method by which the splash lubrication system it works moreover the crankshaft camshaft connecting rods these all parts they comprises a small hole which allows the lubricating oil to pass through them and lubricates the bearings special this process will continue with the rotation of the crankshaft and that's why this is known as a splash type lubrication system so with every revolution of the crankshaft the scoop which is mounted at the bottom of the uh, connecting rod it will splash some amount of lubricating oil to the cylinder wall it will try to lubricate the moving parts the lubricating oil it will return in form of droplets from the uh, surface of the different parts and it will be again collected either at the lower most portion of the engine in the sum or sometimes it, it falls into the oil troughs but the most important point in the splash type lubrication system is this oil pump it will it will continuously pushes the oil from some to the oil troughs so this oil troughs they remain continuously filled i hope you get uh, the proper understanding of the uh, splash type lubrication system thank you thank you so much thank you guys thank you for watching this video with attention if you are watching this video first time please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will get all the notification whenever I will upload something. Thank you. Thank you so much.